how is that? Fun. Better? Yeah, Way better. Fun. A little bit better after watching my approach, loose, talking about a little. Loose arms. Make loose huge, arms, exactly. So, huge difference. so in the beginning, you guys were coming in, you're a little bit more flat footed, knees this way, not letting the body move on the bike, not letting the bike do what it needs to do underneath you by move, you know, away from you and come to you because we have sand whoops and also go a little bit side to side because you can't help that if you're turning a motorcycle under power, especially a a big 450, right? You guys are a little bit more flat footed before, uh, a little bit kind of stuck in one position, always in tension, always in, you know, fighting the motorcycle. So now after we talked about that, you guys got on your toes, your hips are out, <clears throat> you straightened your legs up a little bit because the speed that you're going, you're not able to be into an attack position. So there's no reason to be in one. Be in a trail riding position of straight legs and just kind of because you're not really getting the front wheel up too much. You are, but yes. does it make sense? Yeah. Once, because again, if you see me when I first start riding, I'm riding more stand up, right? Yeah. But then once I start to charge, I get into more of a position. Okay. Yeah. And so where you're at, you're not in a charging, uh, you're not in a charging uh, point of where yeah. you're at with riding a motorcycle. So get into that more of being up high. You know, straighten your legs a little Using bit more, your legs more, and then you're going to be looser, right? Because you cannot be loose if you're if you're in a, in a tense position, okay. but you can be loose up here. You can float around a little bit, and that'll teach you to be loose on the motorcycle. Okay, yours are better, but you need to make sure to again straighten the legs up a little bit. Still, kind of that concho. Okay, yeah, my hips are out, my hips are out, everything's fine, but I'm not moving. Okay, I have to move a little bit to allow that bike to move. Okay, and allow me to float on that motorcycle and stay on top of the motorcycle like you guys are said I did, you know? Yeah, the bike's moving around, but you don't move. <coughs> exactly, okay? Way better, okay? Since we took that brace off, you, now you can move. Right. Your speed picked up, okay? You still can get on your toes, but um, yeah, still a little bit. I see you working on the hips, but I still think you can straighten your legs up a little bit. You don't allow just a little bit more movement. That, net, that brace kind of gets you stuck in a position because you can't move much. You gotta be very careful because anytime you move out of place, you're gonna be affected. Okay? And so I would say same thing, straighten your legs up and don't be afraid to get back a little bit and come forward a little bit. Uh, just throttle happy, you know? Throttle clutch. That's why you get out of control there. Wah, wah, wah! Instead of rrr, rrr, rrr. You know what I'm saying? Maybe don't pop the clutch, maybe don't snap the gas or be in a higher gear. Because your position's not bad. It's just the bite you're being too aggressive with the gas, and then that's that's throwing you off balance. Yeah, I'm trying to make the Or gas. you're not initiating what you're doing. You're behind the throttle. You throttle, then you move. Throttle, then you move. I move, then I throttle. You know what I'm saying? I move, then I throttle. Yeah. Or at the same time, not throttle, then move, because I'm going to go away from the motorcycle. All right? That's what I was doing over here. Yeah, so we'll work on this section here now. So we're going to be turning this way, and... What I want you guys to be doing again is those toes gripping. You don't really need brakes. If you do brake, back brake, not front brake, because we're getting into some big holes. I want you to be a gear higher than you think you are. I want you to relax your arms to allow that bike to come to you and away from you. And then be in steady gear, steady gas. Wop, wop, wop. Okay? Because the fastest way through anyway is the cleanest way. Or the fastest way through anything is the cleanest way. Right? Okay, cool. Let's do it. So as you see with these four riders here, yeah, they're a little bit on more of the uh, vet side, learning still to ride, learning the skills, stuff like that. But that's, you know, of course it's fun to teach, but I can teach people the right technique. But as you see, their back is straight, their hips are out, but they're bending at the knees. And they're bending at the knees that's collapsing their body into the bike. So their whole body's coming to the bike because they're bending at their knees first as putting it into their arms. You know, that one was a little bit better, but this is the issue that I'm talking about is you can be in that right position, but if you bend at the knees, your upper body is going to be going forward, especially when you take a hard hit. And this is what we're trying to get away from these guys. So this was what the drill was and the work was today to get that out of these guys so then they can go through this course a little bit cleaner, smoother, quicker, and not be using so much energy just by one faulty thing. And that's bending at the knees first instead of bending at the hips first. All right, so better, you know, better, smoother, more cleaner, more, uh, I guess, more constant momentum, but still saying a little bit at some issues. 
you're just you're you're too clutch happy. You know, we got it. We got to stop this blasting the clutch even out of there. You know, you blast the clutch more than I do. You're on the gas more than I am in that corner. But then you come out sideways. You know what I'm saying? So we got to learn. This is a 450. It's not a 125. So we got to learn to use the power smoothly because once that wheel breaks traction, you don't go anywhere, mm -hmm. right? So we got to think about that. Always get traction, then you're getting always getting forward momentum. All right. So every single one of you, a little bit of the problem is, is that you guys are. Again, like we talked about, yeah, my hips are out, but when I'm bending here, I'm bending at my knees first. And that's your big problem is doing this, mm -hmm. doing this. So you did wear a neck brace, right? No. Never have. Uh -huh. So this comes from, I don't know where that comes from. Big <laughs> tail. <laughs> <Yeah, maybe. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, well then you keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> so, but again, if I'm here, I need to bend here, mm -hmm. here, here. I'm bringing my upper body forward. You guys, yeah, you're in my position. Yeah, right on, I'm on my toes, my hips are out, my chest is straight, but I'm bending at my knees, and then my upper body's going backwards. And then I'm always in a constant pull, because I'm giving it gas. If I do this, I'm never in a pull. Understand? So I'm bending at my hips first, not at my knees first. So I can start out in this position, <clears throat> but then I do this, mm -hmm. and then I'm in a constant pull, or my upper body's in the back of the bike. So again, here, here, make sense? Then, then you're going forward with the motorcycle, then your arms can relax. So what I'm gonna do is get on the, my motorcycle. I'll do it two times your way, kind of just that knee thing, and then I'll do it two times my way. Okay, you see the difference? Real, real quick question. Yeah. Okay for your... So you see in these clips, I'm doing it incorrect here while I'm bending my knees forward, and you see, or bending my knees first, and I'm always in a constant pull, always in a constant pull. I can't be steady on the gas. I'm bop, 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 and man, does that tire you out and pump up your arms. The second way is you see my hips are out. I'm bending at my hips first, and my upper body's down over the bike. My, up, my butt is over the bike, so I'm more stretched out on it. And again, what's supposed to be going backwards from hips to feet is going to the rear end of the motorcycle. It's supposed to be going forward from hip the head is going forward with the motorcycle when I'm doing it right, not when I'm doing it incorrect like you see right here, knees bending forward, upper body going in the back of the bike, and I'm always under a constant pull. And whenever I gas it, I only can gas it so much because I'm reacting from the gas of the motorcycle. The way I do it my way is you see, I initiate what I want. I put my body where I want the bike to be and then follow it with gas or I meet it at the same time. So this is what I'm getting at is you could have great position, toes, hips out, back straight, loose arms, but until you hit something, land from something, and you bend at the knees first, then you're gonna go opposite of what you should be going, and you're gonna be always in a constant pull, always behind the bike, never initiating the bike, and never, ever, ever, ever riding to your true potential or the bike's true potential, and never feeling what motocross should feel like with this flow, with this efficiency, with this softness, with this uh, constant momentum the dance baby dance on your bike on your feet and that's the way it's done son <laughs>